Hudson. Rubalcaba back in the middle, right in front of Dominguez, the keeper. Coming in at 5-5-1 five, five, and one this season, they'll use this alignment today, including, uh, like uh, you were saying off the top, Steve. Yeah, and you'll see right there, he's got this long whipping motion. He's a tall guy with long arms, and he can snap that ball well into the box. It's obviously not going to have quite the distance of a good corner kick. And Rubel and Kaba gets it to go off the ground instead. It was loose in the box after his throw-in popped right back to him, and he slots it to the back post pass. Javier Ramirez, it's an opener for Rubel Kaba as an SMU Mustangs, and the Mustangs lead it one nothing. We're talking about the wrong part of his game. Here we are going on and on about his throw-ins. He runs onto that ball and tucks a beautiful left-footed shot. Uh, looking to get it to Pino again. This is back for Brock Pope, playing in an advanced position. A oh, beautiful pass to Bailey Sparks. Leans into one, and a beautiful save is made by Ramirez. And he dots it right to Lopez. Leaves it back for Escorcia. SMU spread out. Goes out to Pino. The serve in front. The header just a little bit wide as Lopez got it back and misses the near post. If nothing else, there are a lot more bodies crowded in right around that six-yard line. This time, they go to the top of the six and get it on the head of Devontae Richards. He is a guy that Frank Kohlenstein said is the living embodiment of the cliche. It's not the size of the fight of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. And here's a chance for SMU. Chevro Pino gets another one and touches it over the top and comes up a little bit limp. Both players are up and staying in the game. Good header forward. Robles plays it out to the right side. Stepping in, a drive low, and it is kept off the end line by Martin Dominguez. And it is cleared out, at least for now. Georgievich backing it up after the clearance by Elijah Bishop. Georgievich down to the end line. Plays it all the way across. Has it backed up, and Pino on the header. Dribbles it in toward Ramirez. Been playing a larger role in recent games up front. He would love another crack at that. Big takeaway for SMU and a rebound as well, but nobody was home as Nico Georgievich gets a solid shot on goal against Ramirez. Love playing with guys like Nico Georgievich. How about Lamar Bynum with an offensive thought? Bynum gets it back from Pino. Bynum redirected, and a corner is on the way. Good job to meet it by Ramirez. SMU gets another takeaway in the final third. Salvo plays it across, knocked down by Georgievich. Tries to get onto his left foot. Georgievich off the crossbar. Header, Ruben Kaba nearly had his second. Or rather, that was Pinozo. My apologies. He pulled Nico Georgievich aside and told him alone to shoot more, because that's three already in the second half. Bailey Sparks, good air under this ball. It's popped to the backside. Salvo drives it off the crossbar again and deflected away. At further distance, if they're going to keep shooting because he's absorbing some shots from pretty close range. Eight shots in the second half for SMU. Now Sparks from distance and just whisks it wide for SMU. And quickly it's played up the field to try to get the advantage for Central Arkansas. Richards retains it. Richards dribbles it in. Weekly on the keeper Dominguez. Mouth of goal to work with. Pino is certainly capable. He's trying to visualize that moment from last Friday as he approaches. Pino drives it in and it's off the crossbar once more. Pino that close to another beauty. Especially considering SMU scored in the sixth minute of this match. The Bears like that it's even since then. And here's a chance. Shift in to the six and a good save by Dominguez. Minute and a half left. This one gets through, but on the backside, Ruval Kaba is there. He's played a marvelous game on both ends, but it's set back in deep. James turns, shoots, saved by Dominguez. A lunging dive. What a game performance tonight by the Bears of Central Arkansas, who came back to the same field where they got blown out last year and gave the Mustangs, the 10th ranked team in the country, everything they wanted.